Michael with OT Defense. So just wanted to go over some of our textures. This video was uh, on YouTube before and got flagged because I had a link in it or something. So this has got some of the same information as well as some additional tips in the last six months or so that we've put out. So starting off with the basque weave tip, everybody's favorite. Looks super pretty. Uh, definitely difficult to use, but offers a great texture once you're done. Here we have the diamonds tip, another super pretty tip. Can be done with the flowing pattern or at random. This is the A-frame tip in a flowing pattern. The slant tip in a pattern there and at complete random. Here's the hive tip. Uh, borders are done with the cutting tip. Here is the thorns tip. And then there is the thorns tip on the SIG. Here's the bat wing tip. Here's the bat wing tip on a SIG. A little different result in the flow of the material. Oval tip. There's the oval tip on the SIG. Thong tip. Here's the thong tip on a higher glass content frame. This is a laser ammo training pistol. Uh, highly recommend their stuff if you're interested. This is the tread tip. Super easy to apply. You can do pattern, random. Another way of doing the pattern depending on how you're rotating the tip. This is the hex tip. This is a Z tip at random. Really meaty, chunky texture. And there it is in a flowing pattern. Here we have the 20 LPI waffle tip. Here's another variation of the waffle. This is a 16 LPI micro diamond done in a flow and then at random. There's 16 LPI on a SIG, higher glass content, so it's gonna give you a different result. And here's a 12 LPI micro diamond with a grip reduction, more to come on that. Here's a teardrop tip on the XD. Here's the claw tip on a Glock frame. Here's the square tip on a Smith & Wesson. Here is the rectangle tip. If you hold this at a little bit more of an angle, it'll become a deeper texture. Here's the triangle tip. The wagon wheel and the X tip in conjunction, cutting tip borders. Uh, wagon wheel by itself, inserted flag tip. The wagon wheel on a SIG and the railroad on a SIG. The X tip all by itself with the specialty tips inserted. X tip and wagon wheel tip are some of the easiest to use tips. Here is the chain link tip, and there it is in a pattern. Chain link on a SIG. The arrowhead tip, and there's the fang tip. Small fill-up, you can do this one patterned, random. This is the claw tip on a SIG. Talon tip. They did half the frame for carry. Super aggressive texture within a texture. Boomerang tip. Kind of a couple different ways you can do the pattern. Large fill-up, patterned. Random, up and coming texture, the EDC tip. Low snag, moderate texture, super easy to apply and completely random. Of course, you're gonna practice a whole bunch before you actually stipple a frame. But if you have any questions or issues at all, feel free to shoot us an email, send us some pictures, and we will try to walk you through it as best as we can.